All right, Chris, do you want to talk about your show? Yeah, it's called Stuck on the Cross. I first got the idea for the show from a statement from Bob Dylan's mother. Bob Dylan's mother said to Bob, um, treat everybody you meet with respect because everybody's carrying their own burden. That made me think of everybody carrying their own cross. And the show's called Stuck on the Cross and the different paintings show the different crosses that people bear. Here, for example, is Francis Bacon. Uh, Francis Bacon had a very violent relationship. Um, it's homosexual, obviously. And that was this violent relationship was something he had to uh, carry with him. The one that's side there. Okay, let me just get the Bob Dylan. So this is the sorry, the Francis Bacon one. This is Francis. It's called Eggs and Bacon. That's Francis Bacon, and then obviously stuff wants to try egg there. Oh, there's a f oh, I see. Egg and bacon, right. And this this one, which is... This one was influenced by... On the same theme, but I used to be a, a military musician. And one Christmas I was in Northern Ireland, and people saying, people are thinking of you at home. And I often do, when we took him to our Christmas dinner, Turkey, did people think about the soldiers abroad, in the sangas and tanks and whatever. So this is the garden, Christ in the garden, I, I portrayed the soldier who uh, got his ear chopped off. Most people I would imagine would um, paint Christ in the garden, but because of my experience in the military I painted um, the soldier in the garden. Let me just film that one. I've got a smaller version of this one, so you did two, you did two of this. It's brilliant. This one here, I've painted especially because the exhibition's in Notting Hill. Obviously, this, you can see the Rastafarian links and the Rastafarian colours, Rastafarian hair. And this here is like um, a Muslim uh, Pakistani flag in reverse. The Pakistani flag obviously is green with a white crescent and white star. But I've done a green crescent and this symbolises the star. So it's celebrating um, black culture and Muslim culture really. This one there here is as with the newspapers often often a guilty of DVT amplification. And the big demon at one time was Osama bin Laden. So the Christian church on the one hand would be saying love your enemy and they were telling us to hate Osama bin Laden. So I've got Osama bin Laden with um, to love your enemies and uh, comments from the Bible there. Okay. This is um, a brief sort of um, excursion into photography. This is when I went to see Paul Harvey in Newcastle. So that's Ella Guru, is it? Yeah. And then Paul yeah. with. Is that Paul's dog? Yeah. And so, yourself? Yeah. Me and Ella, we went down to see Paul's exhibition. Um, this was the photograph that was taken there. So what does Dorbers Unite mean? It's irony, really. Somebody said that the Stuckies were Dorbers, not proper artists. So it's sarcasm, really. <laughs> Obviously, this, you only have to look around the room to see that the Stuckies are proper painters. <laughs> I'll, I'll look at those. And that's, uh, that's your daughter, isn't it? That's your photo. You do photography. I've just started, I've just bought a camera and I've just started doing photography. I'm going to be exploring the camera more in the future, uh, but I'm still going to paint for Stucky shows and what have you. But also, I want to learn more about photography. Alright, and what's that one? This is uh, photo manipulation. Um, I can't, yeah, it's, it's, it's very abstract that one, isn't it? Yeah. I was just seeing what had happened when talking about the photographs. Okay. This one here is uh, Mary Magdalene. If you see uh, classical pictures of Mary Magdalene, she's always holding an egg. And the egg symbolises um, new birth, obviously. And Easter, I thought this would be appropriate one to put in. And Mary Magdalene obviously has been demonised by the church. Um, some people believe that she was um, one of the disciples. Um, but that's a matter of opinion. This one is. Um, Let me just. It's called Huxley in Amsterdam. It's um, influenced by Aldous Huxley's Doors of Deception. Um, obviously, Aldous Huxley influenced the Doors, you know, the band The Doors. 
um, that's where they got the name from, Doors of Perception. So his theory was that through hallucinogenic drugs, you could reach a state of enlightenment, enlightenment. and he, um, he gave mescaline, I think it was, to leaders of the major religions, and they said it was like a spiritual experience, but people should not be able to have this spiritual experience through taking hallucinogenic drugs. But that's where the idea came from, Aldous Huxley's Doors of Perception. Alright, which... oh, hang on. Okay, yeah, this one. This one was... when I first started painting I wasn't very good. You might not think I'm not very good now, but I was worse when I first started. Somebody said I wasn't a Stucky, so I said, fuck you, I am a Stucky, so it's got... St stuck, so fuck you on it. And this was... Um, this was influenced by living near the Berlin Wall when I was in the military and teaching teenagers. That's where the graffiti aspect of it comes from. Okay. So what 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 was his reason or her reason for saying you're not a stuckist? I don't know. Whoever it, it was, um, an article in the newspaper said I didn't have a stuckist sensibility. Which okay. <laughs> I don't. <know. laughs> I don't think you'd say that now anyway. But uh, there you go. Right. This one um, is called Eve in the Garden. This is symbolizes the snake. Um, so there's this. Hang on, there's a snake there. Yeah. And this is like a cross that the feminist believe that the bear, you know, been um, abused, women not getting equal pay, and what have you. So that's why I chose Eve to symbolize the woman's struggle. This one is. On the third day she rises again. That's on the third day she rises again? Yeah, okay. it's, it's from, you know, Christ uh, rose again on the third day. Um, the scriptures believe that God is both genders, male and female. So I could have painted God as a female or a male. I chose a female because it's more unusual and I get people to look at him more. Okay. Um, this one, can I just, this is the large one. And this is Guernica, is that, is that right? Yeah, well, this one, the Simpsons come to Guernica. The Simpsons. Like the fascists invaded Guernica, the, the German fascists. I've, I've done, I call it Simpsons visit Guernica because the Americans are like visiting other countries and dropping bombs on them. So was that, that's how it came about in my mind. I was relating what the Americans are doing now in Iraq to what happened in Guernica. Yeah, okay. This one was influenced by going to a midnight mass. I couldn't understand a word this priest was saying, so I called it a midnight mess rather than midnight mass. And I think it was perhaps due to his accent. That's why I've done him in the traditional garb of the Catholic priest. This one's called the USA going to heaven, which is an ironic statement. Hang on a minute, Chris. I guess quite, that's quite an abstract one, sorry, carry on. This is another one on the same themes of uh, Simpsons and Guernica. It's when the Americans bombed Iraq, and it's an ironic statement about going to heaven, the Americans going to heaven. Because I think somebody at the time was saying we were doing it for religious reasons, which obviously weren't, it was political reasons. Okay, I'm going to get another a long view of this. This is symbolizes a cross that transsexuals have to carry yeah. with their, their identity and discrimination in the workplace and things like that. Okay. And then a small one. This is Bill Child, if I come from there. Uh, obviously what's a bit sad at what this person is saying. So that guy is Billy Childish. Well, this is Billy Childish. Um, okay, and who's who's the that's other one? Nobody in particular. It's just well, it's supposed to show the angst of people he's talk to. Um, and this this was when he, he was at alcoholic seemingly at one time, and then he he went into Buddhism and stuff like that. And this is about the time when he changed, gave up his cross of alcoholism and took the cross of Buddhism. Okay. I'll get along with you. This one. Yep. This one is Christ Rising Again. Um, 
with the abstract form. And I don't know why the cat's in it. I think that must be something to do with Jasmine Maddox, but I'm not quite sure. If you find out, let me know. Okay. <laughs> this is where's, where's the cat, anyway? This one is a, a self-portrait. That's a self-portrait. Okay. I've got a Joe Machine painting. I took a photograph of myself against this Joe Machine painting. So these hands are uh, the hands of Michelle, uh, um, Joe Machine's painting. But that, that's a cross up eye, but it's supposed to show the cross that I uh, carry, which I don't want to go into in any detail. Sure. <laughs> yeah. This is. Um, that oh, thing is beautiful. Eve Mesto. Sorry? This one's called Eve Mesto. Eve Mesto, yeah. Um, and how women have been used over the centuries um, to, in a bad way, really. So, um, so people say she, because she messed up in the Garden of Eden, things like that. I'm not agreeing with that or disagreeing with it, but that's what how this painting started. And here. I like can ambiguity. It could be a sacred heart of Jesus. It is, in effect, an apple because of the link of the apple and Eve. This could be a vagina, or it could be the fuse on the bomb. So whatever. The oh, a fuse. Mood, so that's that's like that's the flame for the. Yeah, you know fuse. the old-fashioned black bombs. Yeah. So it could be that, like, it could be a sacred heart, or it could be a vagina. I like sort of ambiguities that come through. Sure. Right, there's, so we go with the top one first. Yeah, that's a self-portrait. Can I just see the eye? It's, it's really... Really 3D. That's not painted eye, is it? That's no, a, they're glass eyes. Glass eyes, okay. And um, this is self-drying clay. So. <laughs> Okay, is that and that's just a self self portrait, is it? Yeah, it, it, it's. I suffer from depression actually, so it, it, you can see the beard, which I normally have a longer beard, and it, 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 this is a time when I, I painted when I was depressed, which obviously comes through, and I shouldn't do, but when I'm depressed, I listen to Bob Dylan, so it's got images of Bob Dylan coming through, and that's Sarah Dylan there. Oh, and that's Sarah Dylan, yeah. right? Is that, her, is that his daughter? Or? That's his, his wife. Oh, his wife. Oh, at the time. Have a good walk. Can't do every painting. Oh, hang on. Do you want me to... Who's that? That's Paul Harvey. Is that Paul Harvey? Yeah. It's a, a jokey one, again. Um, this Paul, as you know, has got a PhD and he calls himself a punk. So, um, I tried to marry the two together. Is a is a PhD a gift or is it a cross you have to bear? He said it's a gift because it gets a cheap place in hotels. Okay. Well, it's a gift you have to earn. It's a gift you have to earn. Yeah. yeah. Not a gift that I'd spend that amount of time on, but there you go. You still are, isn't it? Which one are we doing next? This was. Um, okay. King of Swords from the Stuckist Tarot. Um, what the tarot exhibition? Yeah. Right. What, I did another one which I thought was more appropriate, which went into the show. But this was an idea at the time, and it made me to think, think of Christ, you know, with his crown of thorns and he, how he was a king and stuff. So I thought it fit well into this show. And that's why that was there. It's just a line of cut eight, which doesn't fit into the show in any way whatsoever. Okay, <laughs> alright, that's fine. This is a um, Jewish man. When I live in Manchester, there's a big Jewish community. So, um, Christ was a Jew, so I, it was just a face I see about town, which fits in because of Christ's Jewish connection. Okay. Shall we start with the top top one? Yeah, the top one's Billy Childish shot on canvas. Um, Billy Childish, as you know, is influenced by uh, Van Gogh and Edvard Munch. So I did these three um, in the style of Van Gogh. Uh, so I mixed with Van Gogh and Edvard Munch. So these three are a set. You've got Billy Childish. Billy Childish, Sexton Ming. That's Sexton Ming, yeah. They used to um, play with Billy at one time. And Charles at the bottom. Is that Charles Thompson, the yeah. Stuckist co-founder? Yeah, so we've got two co-founders and Ellen Moore's husband. I'm not very good at painting women, so I painted her husband. Okay. And then this is all the... Uh, 
the these guests. Are, yeah, these are the guests. The guests have been invited because they've invited me to their shows and um, just to say thank you for them having helped me. So, shall we? Shall we just quickly just go through them? Right, there's this this guy at the top here. Yeah. Who's that? He's a transduckist. Last year. He's he, yeah, he um, he can't get his work shown in his country, so I said, "Send one over here. I'll put it in my show." Yeah, this is another Tanzania Shiva. She oh Shiva Eni is that? Yeah, that's oh right, yeah, I know her. This one's Farsan. Oh Farsan Sanghini. Yeah, yeah, he's. I good. thought this was yeah. I thought this was good uh, because at Easter Christ washed the uh, disciples' feet, so I thought that was a really appropriate one to put in actually. This is Lapsin Hamid. Um, and he laps is he from Iran as well? Yeah, he's a Tanan as well, yeah. So all these all these four are the same from country. Same, from the same group, yeah. Tarant That's El Sadak. Yeah, and then that's Mark D. My, my daughter, Saffron. Your daughter painted that one? Yeah. Oh okay, very good. Uh, Who's that? Anna Key. Uh, her, AKA uh, Lisa Nut Nut Horton. She's um, she does a lot of pop art. Okay. She's given me paintings in the past when invited her to join our show. This Lisa. is uh, one of my favourite artists, uh, <laughs> Edgeworth Johnson. And we swapped, uh, we swapped a lot of paintings. Um, yeah. No we I won't bore you with the details because you probably know him. I think I know Edgeworth. Yeah. This one is uh, Annie Samiro. Annie Samiro. I particularly like it. It reminds me of um, she'd have been home. I don't know. I haven't talked to her about it. She hasn't arrived yet. But um, it reminds me of um, somebody being home, like you say. Sure. Um, we, oh, I recognise these. These are Ella's. Yeah, Ella's another of my favourite artists. She's done quite a few commissions for me. And I thought this was particularly relevant with the screwdriver through the hand. Yeah. That represents the... This is the lady herself. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes, yes. It's That's why I put it in this show. Because, yeah. Right. Well, I can tell you more about that. Oh, well, it's Finnish. And in Finland, there's not much to do. So they... Uh, they um, pierce themselves and, and there's a video on YouTube of that guy cutting that guy's ear. So you see that guy's got a hole in his ear, the top part of his ear. Yeah. He cut that bit off. Oh, okay. He's finished too. He's in Finland, they like that kind of stuff. Uh, <laughs> but I thought it was good for this show because it's like St. Sebastian with the arrows through him. Yeah. Or the uh, the needle through the arm, like uh, through the hand rather, like the nail to Christ. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, okay. and that's the circumcision of Christ. Okay. So uh, the the models are all here that were modelled for that picture. Oh, I'll, I'll try and catch them all later. Trying to get the baby looking at the picture. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Well, the only piece I mentioned because uh, because I was at the national today and I was looking at that. Obviously, the uh, 